This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by T-Mobile. A few weeks ago, I went through this whole shebang workaround to get VMware and VirtualBox to boot a USB bootable device. Zero Knight wrote in with a fix. He said, not sure if you know about this or not, but there is a much easier way to boot a USB drive in a VM than the command you showed in Hacktip, which I must say, it was a really, really long command line. It's called Plop Boot Manager, and I was lucky enough to find it when I was trying to get USB Katana working. I've hacked success in both VMware and VirtualBox with this. To use it, you just tell the VM to boot from an ISO, and it will have the option for a USB. So I decided to try it with a little tutorial. Now you need a couple of different things. First of all, download the zip file from the Plop Boot Manager website, which is plop.at. Next, you'll need some kind of bootable USB flash drive, like this one I have right here that apparently can move around. It's kind of cool. Anyway, I have Puppy Linux installed on mine, and I made it bootable using UNet Bootin, which is this free program that you can, you can just Google it. It's really easy to find. Third, download VMware Player or VirtualBox. Now, for my tutorial, I've gone ahead and used VirtualBox. So first things first, I need to open up VirtualBox. There we go. And I need to create some kind of new virtual machine. Now, you don't have to change any of the default settings, so you, you can just click Next, 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 and then start up the VM. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new test machine. OK, create a new machine. Next. And I will call this Plop Boot Manager. Next. Hard disk, dynamically expanding. Okay, sounds good. Doesn't really matter what I put it as, what I, what I make the operating system because it just changes the icon. Next thing you need to do is take a moment and unzip that plop zip file that you downloaded from their website earlier. Now go through the first start wizard and change all the installation media over to the plop ISO. To do that, I just start up the VM, first run wizard. I choose my ISO, which is already in there, but I'll show you what it looks like. So it's right there. Hit open, next, and type is CD, DVD, ROM, device, and click finish. And it should start with no problems. Yay, it starts. Now, if I go down to USB, I'm going to have some issues when I try to open it. It's going to give me an error. OK, so I'll hit Enter. To fix this issue, you first need to close down the VM and right click on it and choose Settings. So I'm going to properly close it down, close, shut down, and go into my Settings log. Now, in this menu, I'll need to find the USB choice and click the plus button over on the corner. Now it only sees two of them, so I plug this in, which even if I had this plugged in in the first place, it would still give me this error. Plus, okay, so it's SMI Corporation. Now, you may see several different USB drives on here, and if so, a really easy way to figure out which one is your drive is to unplug it and see which one disappears. Ha, very simple. After doing this, you click OK. So I add that, click OK. And I should be able to start up again with no issues. So after doing that, I clicked OK, I reopened my VM, and I should see a little USB icon at the bottom indicating that my USB flash drive is seen. If not, you can go under Devices, USB Devices, and click your drive so that it has a check mark next to it. So the USB is right here. It says indicates the activity of the attached USB device, which is the correct one. Under devices, I can also go to USB devices and click on SMI Corporation. Check that. For some reason, it seems like every time I do this, I have to restart my computer or wait for it to unfreeze itself. If you do run into virtual box freezing, you can just close it down, restart, or wait till it stops working so hard and registers your actual change. Now, that all of that is fixed, you should be able to boot off your USB drive. So from the plot main menu, go to USB and hit enter. USB, enter. Ah, oh, 
and I have Puppy Linux starting up. Sweet. That was so much easier. So I know there are a lot of fixers for this VM glitch these days, and this is just one that boots off the USBs. You can always email me all of your other ideas at feedback at hack5.org. Coming up soon, we'll be answering your viewer questions, but first let's take a break and then check in with Darren for the nibble. For only $19.99 per month, get the 4G mobile hotspot and connect up to five devices, iPad, iPod Touch, cameras, laptops, portable gaming devices, and more to America's largest 4G network. Create the ultimate portable personal network without the fear of overages. With a 4G mobile hotspot from T-Mobile, you can share the power of America's largest 4G network. Connect up to five Wi-Fi enabled devices to high speed internet, 4G capable for blazing fast speeds on America's largest 4G network. Work. That's right, it's time for the nibble, and this week, Noiko wrote in to say, not sure if this works in Ubuntu 11.04, but it is pretty awesome. Hold down Windows key and hit E. It allows you to choose your virtual desktop, or Windows key W to show all of the windows on your screen. Kind of reminds him of Expose or Spaces on a Mac. Dude, thank you so much. Of course, you guys know that you can submit your four bits and get some Hack5 swag at hack5.org nibble.